Alexander Gustafsson because before the main event uh, the UFC Stockholm uh, first of all uh, Alexander what does it mean to you for fight for your fans for your home audience you've been here a, a couple times fighting here in Sweden Stockholm uh, what uh, is your mindset coming into this fight my mindset is good it's I'm feeling great I'm just doing my thing and uh, I'm just waiting for 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 the fight to to happen now and I can't wait to fight him. He's a good fighter and uh, I'm ready for it. Have you been considering Anthony Smith as your future opponent some time ago, maybe uh, when he was uh, get his, got his chance to fight John Jones? Yes, of course. He's uh, a force to he's a force to, to come with here in the in, in our division and um, he's a tough guy, so he, said, uh, he had some chance meetings with you in the elevator and you guys are kind of laughing about it. Is it a different atmosphere going into this fight when you compare it to other opponents? Maybe there was a lot of animosity. You guys seem to get on very well. Yeah, he's a, he's a good guy. He's a great guy. We, you know, he just, he's just doing his thing and doing my thing and we're both professionals and we keep it professional, you know. Uh, on Saturday we, we, we have work to do but it's no bad blood, nothing like that. So it's all good. I think you like to fight guys who have aggressive styles. I think you quite like that. We remember that Glover Teixeira performance, absolutely beautiful, th those uppercuts. Is that something you're, you're thinking could be a similar kind of fight in that regard? Because, you know, An Anthony's talking about, you know, wanting to put hands on you. He wants to be very aggressive compared to his performance against Jones. Yeah, but that's... The, the, the Anthony wasn't really himself in the fight against Jones. We all saw that this guy comes to fight. He comes with a... A lot of power, a lot of force, he, can't, he starts hard every time, so I'm ready for it. What's it like, what's the mood like in Sweden here? We know like, you're, you're a very you're a national icon to a certain degree, but this is taking place on a bank holiday with, when the European Cup final is taking place on Saturday as well. Is, is this floating under the radar at all, or do you still feel like the event is being, um, you know, is popular here in, in Stockholm? No, I, I feel that we, with the... Uh, of all the, all the stuff that's going on in, in, the, in the sports, this is the biggest, biggest uh, happening this weekend. And I, f I feel it from the fans, from the media, and, and so it's just like it should be. You, you've talked an awful lot about wanting to compete uh, three times this year. I heard your interview with uh, Luke Thomas. Um, you know, it, it reminds me a bit of Aldo. When Aldo started taking on all of these prospects, he, he wants to fortify his position as one of the greats in his division. Is that something similar that, that you are trying to do in, in theory? That, is that what you want to do? Uh, well, I don't know about Aldo's situation, but, but for myself, it's just been too long between the fights. And uh, I actually wanted to fight much earlier than this, but this is a perfect way for me to... to to come back, come back on track and, and, and get those wins and and uh, I'm looking for, I'm, I'm fighting Anthony now and then I'm looking for the next fight. You've uh, been offered uh, a fight with uh, Jan Bachovic, there, there were some rumors about uh, your rematch with him, but he declined the fight because of the lack of the time to recover after the injury. Uh, what, is there any comment from you on this? No, no, I, I wish him health and uh, I know we will fight again. Uh, about Jan, one, one more question, because uh, he's fighting Luke Rockhold right now on the International Fight Week and uh, you used to be open to fight Luke Rockhold and what do you think about this specific matchup and uh, Luke uh, moving up to light heavyweight? Yeah, yeah, of course, we're gonna, we, go, we are going to cross roads at some point in our career, so I'm, fi I'm fighting Anthony Smith now and, and, and after that let's see what happens. What do you think of the, the Santos v. Jones match? A lot of people think uh, Santos' wild style will, will kind of confuse uh, Jones. Do you think it, it's going to be an interesting matchup in that regard? Absolutely. We have, we have one of the greatest of all time fighting a, a, a super dangerous guy. With, uh, he hits like a, he hits like a, like a truck and, and it's always entertaining to see those fights. I'm really looking forward to it. and, and uh, uh, it's going to be wild. It's going to be wild. Uh, you know, uh, I, I believe John will will probably get get his hands raised at, uh, at the end. But but uh, it's going to be very interesting to see. I've got to ask you about Jack Hermanson. His, his run has been incredible. He has suddenly exploded onto the international radar after that performance over Jack Ray. Uh, are you very proud of your fellow countryman? Percent. Yeah, he's doing great. He's a great guy and. You can just see the passion in his eye. He loves. He loves. The, he loves what he's doing, and, and, and it's great to see. It's. It's. it's, it's cool.
the people of Sweden getting behind him the same way as they get behind you? Because I know he spends a lot of time in Norway as well. Do you think he has generated the same buzz here? Yeah, almost. Almost. <laughs> you know, he's, he, he's, uh, he's getting there. He's getting there. He's getting there. Uh, one question. Uh, you remember the first fight at uh, 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 2012? Uh, and it was kind of electric moment. Do you think it's going to be the same at uh, Saturday? Yeah, I think it's going to be the same. Every time I fight here, see, it's it's just it's just uh, the fans just goes crazy, and it's uh, it's always a it's always a pleasure to walk in, in into that octagon. The arena just exploding every time. And it's great to be be involved in that. And, Bigger question, every time it's a fight here and you are on the main car, it's a big pressure on you. How do you handle that? It's a big mental thing for you, especially now, I think. Good, I handle it good. I feel relaxed, com relaxed, composed. And I just, I just, at the end of the day, we're just going to do, do what we do best in, in the cage. And that's how I see it. And uh, how do you expect the fight, fight to go? Uh, and how do you think it's going to end? I expect it to be well. It's going to be entertaining for sure. I believe the fans are going to love it. Anthony's going to come in hard, hard and fast. And I'm just going to, just going to have to control him. You topped the last year. It was an awesome fight last year. Almost five rounds and a, and a, a memorable knockout. Thank you. Yeah, it was, it was a good, uh, very good vibes from this arena. Was there any fight on this card you are looking to uh, see as maybe as a fan? Because uh, also some people from your club uh, are fighting on this card. Is there anything uh, you know interesting matchup for you on this UFC Stockholm card? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have we have some really. I mean, I mean, like we have we have uh, three top fights in my division in the, in, on this card. So. Uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be very interesting to see. I got two of my teammates fighting. Uh, I'm rooting for them. They're ready for it, and they're going to win. We're all going to win on Saturday. What's that going to say about the light heavyweight division on Saturday night? Because there's a lot of guys jockeying for position here, you know. So, is is that the prize on Saturday? The next crack, maybe at a title? No, I don't know. Let's see what happens after this fight. I'm just going to make sure I have to go through Anthony first. He's a tough guy. He's a challenge for me. So, so we take it from there. Do you prefer this kind of fight with a guy like Anthony who's going to come out and you know he's going to go on the front foot and, and try to do, sort of take you down, try to hit you? Is that an easier kind of fight to take or would you prefer a more sort of stand back and let's see what happens kind of fight? Nah, you know, I, I yeah, I probably prefer when they come in hard. I, I, I like to be, I like to, I like to be, you know, working with my, my speed and my footwear, my flow a little bit and see what's, what, see, see what they, what they bring to the table and, and, uh, and uh, okay, I, I'm ready, I'm ready, I can't wait.